I'm Gary Sun, and this game is called Realm Defense. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, and I'll show you Clash of Clans, Clash Rail, and Realm Defense, and other mobile games, tips, gameplay, and just playthroughs. But let's just collect the elixir mine, and let's do this. So I'll show you how this game's played. I'm just gonna look at the tactics room because. Difficulty is three, so laser left on bottom of the section. So let's see. Okay, well I looked at the strategies, not too much. I'm not gonna waste your time, but this is the whole. It's a tower defense game. If you know Balloons Tower Defense, long time ago game. It really went up in rating. In like 2015, 2016, but it has went down. So I've played this map before, but I think it has gone harder. So, what do we want to put here? We want mortars on these intersections because see it's rounded; they can really hit. And I think a mortar would be good right there. Now, I think I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put these over here, and then out here, I want these barracks. It's the sword. I'm gonna put them there, and then I'm gonna put one over there. And I'll show you as we get in the long the game. It's not too hard, but I like to play it. So let's see. This is one of the most worst characters in the game, or as you call them, heroes. And you just destroy them as they come along. You might not like this game. I'm not at the right spot. You might not like this game, but I like it. So tell me down below what you think about it, and we can talk about it. Let's put some. Hmm. So, you got hearts over there, at that top left corner, that tell you how much lives you got. And well, you kind of want to upgrade the barracks, so you guys have more health. And your hero, he just walks around wherever you tell them, you can press his icon down the bottom left corner, and do all that stuff. So, these mage towers are really good, or arcane towers, whatever you call them. Now, I'm going to buy that 180 coin one, and this is what it does. It really speeds up everyone around the spot. So, they move faster and attack faster, dealing the most damage in the whole entire game. The arcane speed boost with the barrack max level deals the most damage in the game. Now. You're gonna want to upgrade these archer towers as well. And I think I'm gonna use my hero ability over there. And you gotta wait for them to refill. I'm just talking about this, telling you guys, for anybody that's new to this game. And, well, I'm gonna upgrade these as well to do some more damage. Nice. Okay. I hope this isn't too loud. Might be too loud, you couldn't even hear me, probably over the sound. And four to six waves right there at the top left corner. Okay. And then you got these other upgrades, like the shield that gives them more health. Uh, and the sword that does more damage to the enemies. And this arcane circle here, speed boost. Works on every single ground and air troop. So, like, the only air troop is Heroes, Smolder, and Helios. I'll show you them after this battle. I didn't really concentrate on these mortars because I kind of wanted to concentrate over here on my actual battle. Because at the start of the game, some slimes went past it. But that rocket's actually really good because. Say a slime is going through and you have like one health, um, the rocket could hit them right there before going out. 
It targets whatever thing it wants randomly, but I think it's like the longest way from it. I'm not very sure, and I'm not really this, I'm not um, a game pro at any game. I just like to play the game for fun, you know? Like, you got these people... Ooh. I think I've been saying, you know, too much. Okay. So, let's just take that word down just out of what I say. And... Okay, so we got these mortars, or cannons, whatever you call them. Just, they look like mortars from Clash of Clans. And the rockets are on all of these towers. We can upgrade these archer towers. And, well, we got a pretty good base now. And the game... And there's, like, this is just one of the worlds from this game. And just one of the levels. So, that's pretty cool as well. And... You can put the towers wherever you want, there's no limits to where you can put them, unless you're playing legendary mode on a level that you've um, already beat, they'll tell you what you can't use. Alright, here is about to die, and if he dies, he just um, will lie there until he respawns. So, as you see his icon um, bottom left corner, it's circling. That means he's regenning his health. And we're on the last wave, so I think we got this level under control. And Arch Tower, that telescope thing, increases everything around it. So you see all the blue towers? That means this Arch Tower increased everything's range around it. It used to increase the bigger X range, but now it doesn't. So... Okay. We beat the level, and, I mean, this level wasn't even hard at all, but, yeah, okay, so, what can I say about this game? It has three different worlds, so, let's see, where are we, so, like, there's different things you can do here, challenges, daily trial, and gems aren't too hard to get. Though they are pretty hard. So I would have had a lot more gems to buy better heroes like... Um, this is Sethus from World 3 and Helios from World 3. They're one of the best characters in the game. Or heroes. Keep on messing them up. But the other three very good characters are Smolder, Ephrigid, and Obsidian. But then you got these other 1,500 characters. Connie, Masoon, Ma, Masamoon, Bolton, and Hogan. So don't buy any of them if you're playing this game. And only save up. First of all, save up for Smolder. Don't even get a Frigid because she's not that good after you actually play the game. So... You can save up this and that, that's 3,000, plus a fridge, that's another 3,000, so I'll be at almost 1,200 gems, which means I would have these two dudes. Now, prices for them are insane, I don't know why they're so expensive, but it's what it is. And if you want, I can put some tutorials on how to get 38 minutes on endless mode in the first world, and so on. So, let's see what I have here. That's about it. And these are the different worlds. The normal world, then you got the frost world, then you got the sandstorm. But you, you need to have at least, what was it? Six heroes? Six heroes to get in there, or reach gold league and tournament. And World 4 is coming soon, and other levels for the rest of these levels for the Sandstorm Sands, Sunstorm Sands are coming too as well. So, that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, if you want me to play more of this game, like, say, tournament, playthroughs, other stuff, other stuff, tell me down below in the comments, and, well, I'll do it. 
So this is the end of the video, and thank you for watching, if you enjoyed, and possibly only other people that love TD games, share this video around, and, well, they'll, I'll teach them how to play it. I play Clash Plans, Clash Rail, and now I guess, what's this game, Realm Defense, and other games that I enjoy, but that's about it. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.